morning guys, it's March the 14th, I'm Henry Green from London Training Group. I'm just going to run through what we're looking for in the markets for this morning. So I'm going to start with Eurodollar. So we, again, we went up and tested those 112.20 highs after the bounce off 108.20 uh, on Thursday after Draghi spoke. We just had a holding day uh, on Friday, which was kind of expected after such a big move up. A few people were short here, uh, which made sense just on a kickback reaction from that uh, initial push up. But it was, um, nope. um, it was just as if <clears throat> that was just the initial sell off before. Now we've bounced back and now we can take a true direction in where this euro wants to go. So... Um, for me, up here, I, I do feel like it looks like it wants to pull back. I mean, off off uh, Friday's bar, you have to be looking for the short side uh, rejection uh, up at the highs, up at a good resistance level. So, so yeah, maybe a pullback into 11.60, so kind of where we are at the moment, and then maybe we take uh, the next step down. So I'm looking down towards 110 as my fib top. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, 110.40, which kind of takes me down to that next level of support down there. So I wouldn't be surprised if this just... Um, pull back now and we just saw this trade down to 110.40 today. Euro likes to move on a Monday recently, so we could see Euro trade 110.40 today. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, I haven't gone through the weeklies yet, um, but on the dailies, we are still in this uptrend, but it likes to come back and test it. So um, we are just sideways. That's the thing with the Euro at the moment. We are just sideways, so there's potentially not that much we can look into this. If we're taking the fibs on the way up, though, that leads us up to 114.90. So that could be the next target up. So if we maybe if we hold at 111.20, and um, we could see this go for the next uh, next fib fib up. But at the moment, I feel like this wants to just have one push down to 110.40, and then we could see this rally uh, and see that this maybe then go on to 114. But certainly off Friday's bar, it doesn't look like it wants to go today. Okay, so cable. Let's have a look what cable's doing. <clears throat> cable had a good day on Friday. Uh, nice push up we have just gone we have cleared so on my i had a pass market angling on my daily chart that we have gone through now and we've gone through that hourly trend line that we spoke about we have just come to retest it on the other side now so i expected one for that 140 143.80 area to be the kind of zone we got up to we tested 144 we went through 144 and we've come just come off a little bit now so um on my 60 minute fibs we are just coming back to retest this current trend line that we went through uh, on this daily trend line i think let's have a look at this so it's an hourly trend line let me just make sure i've got all the levels right before we call that this is the exact level so it wasn't off there it's a long old one it's from a long time ago by the looks of it yeah so it's off here so yeah so it's correct so that was the trend line that i was looking for and we have just gone through it uh, and retested it down here somewhere where are we yeah in here so we have gone through that and we're just retesting at the moment so that could now uh, lead to another push up if we get there so maybe we just hold around here where's the next level down in cable 143.50 i like as a zone so maybe 143.50 area then then that leads us back up to 140 wow 145.50 so so i mean it's a very good recovery very quick recovery everyone was so uh, happy to be heavy um short cable but now it seems to have recovered and we've bounced back quite nicely and we now seem to be rallying yes the friday's bar was really nice but obviously it always pulls back so 143.50 could be the zone before it then goes higher so that's what we're looking for in cable dolly ends at the top of its range Again, you've got to play this like a range trade. We're bang at the top of this, so just be looking for the shorts where, the, where you can in this one. Um, let's have a look at what the fibs are saying. So normally it just pulls back nice and deep. Okay, fine. So there was no, uh, there's no, no fib. We've started to fib with the downside actually, and that still takes us down to. We've not gone through um, 78.6, so this still leads us back down to 112.10, which is the zone that I liked anyway. So if we just fib the top side of this, obviously it's been taken out there. So if we put this in okay so maybe you have one push up to here 114.11 maybe a spike through that rejection complete the D uh, and then we could see this uh, come off and that's what I'll be probably looking for in dolly yen nice bullish bar however uh, on Friday just watch for that one um, dollar cad Let's have a look at that one. So we finally got to that 130, 190 that we've been talking about for such a long time. Rejected off this actual daily level down here at 130, 170. Um, and now, now what? One, what's now the big plan? So that was the next level down and the next level down in the fibs. So the pullback leads us to 133.25. Is that a level? Yeah, so I've got that as, quite, as a good bit of, of resistance in there. It might come back to test this 200 moving average on the day as well, but 133.25 looks like a good little zone for that to get back to. Could obviously could go higher, but you've got to look for this to play because what happens is it looks like this one's going to go, then it does the clear out, and that's the then best time to be looking to sell this market. So um, we have still got some more room on the downside. It never looked like we are going to get there, but it does now. So this has kind of been relentless market. So maybe a pullback at some place. And this 31.90 seems like a good good place than ever to pull back. So we could see it happen here. Um, 
and maybe take out the A and then we would go to have a bit of a rally, maybe back up towards 136 and then we come off and finally complete that D down there at just under 130. So that's my plan for dollar CAD. Uh, Aussie dollar <coughs> finally broke out of that, so get rid of these. So this one finally broke up and just clipped the D. So we have finally hit that now and the 38 pullbacks back down at 75.10. So we are we are nearly there. Um, got to a really good level of resistance up there at 75.85, which I had as a level. We like got a little bit through that and now we've pulled back. So 75.08. Oh, 75.10 is the, is the good zone. So maybe we get down there. That's the 38. So maybe it's at least 75. I think it has to go and test that. Um, and through that 74.50, where's that then? 74.50 leads us beneath, below, between those two. Where's the next level up? Next level up, 77.14. So okay, so it looks like it's leading us onto the D as in the in terms of the next level up. So we're we're looking for this kind of zone as as a projection zone. So I think Aussie pulls back here, uh, or it has one little more push up and has a go at 75.85 again. Um, but certainly this is the zone that I'll be looking to play. Uh, well, looking for entries in, in Aussie, but certainly the pullback looks due. Uh, in Aussie now, uh, and finally the Kiwi. The Kiwi just looks heavy. I think it looks looks like a grind. This looks very similar to um, to these kind of slow moves up. You see how this one's just kind of slow moved. This one then popped uh, out the top, but that was at the low of its range. I think this is a bit different now. Nice double top. There's probably divergence on the MACD there uh, as well. We're at the 70, 67, 50, got the 200 moving average coming in, which we tried to break through, didn't manage it. Um, we kind of closed back below it again uh, on the day. So I think that this one goes lower. D target now is down at, where's that, 65, 70. So we're looking at that as the target. And counter trend line break for this one I think would be good. Uh, good initial entries around 67, 50. And the next level up 67, 90. So we'll be looking for those two zones as potential areas if this rallies. But certainly a lower high, which is done now. Lower hour high. And all you can be looking to do is if it breaks below that low, we go through the trend line, then look to look to short the Kiwi. I think that could be quite a good play as well. Okay, guys, so that's a quick round of what we're looking for today. Uh, as I said, it's a Monday, so don't expect too much. Um, but I'm going to be certainly to be setting up for for next for the for the coming week. Should be a good week. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing my videos every morning. Apologies for the delay this morning, um, but happy trading, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.